Saturday morning around here. We have no heat. The dog and a fire. What's the temperature say on the thermostat? 50? Did it really? Do you have on my robe? These are my shoes. You said they looked like daddy's shoes, which was mean. They're very nice shoes. I, I tell you what, even though I'm cold, wouldn't you love to be up there in Buffalo? Yes, you would. You're just trying to be difficult. Unprecedented levels of flu and um, RSV. White house wedding. Oh, look at there. Yeah, it's. Oh, you have that. Amos, are you cold? Oh, you have that. Have what? I do not take Ozempic. You're, you are evil. I've seen it in the fridge. It is not Ozempic. That's not what I take. Just showed your weight loss drug on the TV. Are you cold? Yes. Yes. Do you want to go take a hot shower? Yes. Yes. Well, let's wait just a minute. Why else wouldn't I have heat? Is there like another? Did you just say to me, why isn't it fixed? Yeah. Because you have to order a part. And since COVID... Things take a long time to come in. I will say the heat and air guy was like, do you want me to bring you some space heaters? That just seems like a total, you know, you're just giving up when you need a space heater. Oh, I have a coat. I don't need a space heater. And I realized yesterday, I was like, I've been eating a lot of soup. And I was like, you know why? It's because I'm cold. I eat soup at night. I mean, that's all I've eaten is hot soup. Like, super hot. So hot that it just doesn't burn your mouth. Oh, sissy, the Raleigh Christmas Parade is on. Do you want to watch it? How about that? Oh, we have the WRAL app. It's time for an Airbnb. Well, my mom and dad said we could go stay in their house. Of course, they're not there. I mean, this buffalo thing, is I'm so jealous over that. How can we stay in their house? That's good. Well, I know. That's what I said. I think they thought I would just go stay and get warm and leave y'all here. Really? Can you use your fireplace? Yes, we can. Mm-hmm. I can't tell that it's really warm, though. You may... <laughs> you know... Sissy, so our big boys are getting home today. Her big brothers are getting home from school. Let's not tell them that the heat's broken. Okay. And then they'll just, I'm just going to tell them that we've decided it's healthier to not have heat. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, here's the parade. Oh, no. We don't want to watch sports. Um, we are going out to dinner. No, because today's opening night. Look at this. At six. The bistro. No. And you know, why do people talk to me? Shush. Go stay with the in-laws. Mine. Cold air is ideal for croup. Well, I know that. Um, he seems better today. He, we, I've had a sick flu person. But, I mean, I've gotten all sorts of stuff done. Look, I found turkey pictures. Open the doors on the fireplace. If you open the doors of the fireplace, it turns everything black. 
Yesterday, I dropped off every paper thing the children have ever made, and I had it laminated. Mm -hmm. Look, I've had turkeys laminated, and I've had leaves laminated. Yes, I have. I got out my homemade, handmade advent calendar. So what you do is you peek in here on the first day of advent, and you find a teeny tiny little, a teeny tiny teddy bear. And then you, it says Psalm 2-4. What are you? Okay, who are you talking to? Isn't that so neat? You can't get them anymore. They don't make them. It was the Sharp family in Raleigh. Mm -hmm. oh gosh, she's trying to make her autistic brother watch the parade. Why is the Christmas parade in November? What about the Thanksgiving Day parade? 15 degrees in Ohio. I hope you have heat. Hi. We gotta get that hair under control, don't we? It's like a fluffy fluff fluff. How are you feeling? No fever today, huh? Are you going to hide when Thomas gets here? Yeah. He's not here yet. You have to wait. He's getting home soon. What else have we done? Oh, we hung up our new picture from Beth Smith Watercolors. Uh-huh. That's Blair holding a Coors Light with her baby dolls. Is that not the cutest thing? We've got our corn candles here and our turkey. We got a little Christmas over here. Six and a half feet of snow, Sissy, in Hamburg. We've got our nativity set made with Susan Burka. How about that? I love this person. So we made, the children made these. They're made out of paper mache with gold spray paint. Aren't they so pretty? I love them. I don't love them. You can't love anything that doesn't love you back. I only got you live hard when you're over the pond. I know because our time is always cockeyed. Blair made this last year. It's a tiny little nativity set. The picture of bear. I know. Beth Smith Watercolors gave it to us as a present. She did this one at Amos a couple years ago. Who prepares your Thanksgiving dinner? Now that seems suspicious that you're saying that. Me. I prepare. Blair's the chef. <laughs> Touche, we are going out to eat. And one of my followers makes these and sells them. How about this? I've given them to godchildren this year as presents. Is that not the cutest thing? Crocheted thing jiggies. I'm thinking about maybe giving a set away. Mm-hmm. To new followers. I think I will. If I get new subscribers, maybe I'll put their name in a hat for a new nativity set. Love the watercolor paintings. So on my subscriber page, which I'm always trying to plug, that's $5 a month, um, we do art tours, and we haven't had one in a while. I think that's going to have to happen maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You can't love anything that you can't love back. This is an interesting one, though. This guy's name is Wade Dunn. He's from Newburn, and he was a sign painter for 40 years, and he painted this with a spackle. This might be my favorite painting in the whole house. You lost baby Jesus and used a peanut. Well, that's, you're my person. You found your people. Now, this guy's name is Chick Wooten. He was in his 80s when he painted this, African-American artist from Chapel Hill, and he painted based on his remembrances of stories of his grandparents. How about that? It's just an impromptu art tour, but not the whole thing. Cam Woff painted this. He's from Edenton. Cypress trees, he's known for that. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
Oh, Vicki painted this of Atlantic Beach. I love those. List the name for the nativity set. Carmen, um, okay, I will. I'll put her link in my comments. And this is called Charlottesville. An artist painted that that lived here. And this is called a lot of different stuff. I can't show y'all everything. My subscribers would never forgive me. Ray growers really look excited. Nope, they're mute. Have you been? What you doing? Are you checking out the advent calendar? Christmas tree. Anybody got any questions? This is your chance. Mm -hmm. Before I get people showered. I'm from Labrador City, Canada. It's negative 15. How do people exercise? Not that I exercise, but I'm just wondering for people that are really committed, what do they do? And how do your dogs go to the bathroom? I don't think my animals would go outside. Or having to go to school. Like when I think, when we think of snow in the South, snow means that you're not doing anything or going anywhere, right? Because there's snow. I can't imagine like living where you had snow and you were just expected to carry on with your life. I don't really do that. What time are the boys coming? Um, so my mother and father-in-law have picked up, oh, this stuff is so good, have picked up <clears throat> my kids at the airport. And they're picking them up at 9.30. And so they will be here, I would think, around 11 or so. So Amos and I are going to take a little shower. Can you feel sorry for me? You have six feet of snow. No. No, I can't feel sorry for you. I'm jealous. Do you have one home or two? Because you mentioned Raleigh. We have um, a rental condo in Raleigh that I used to live in and own. But we had a woman that happened to be a hoarder. Even though that's a very sensitive subject and term to use. So currently the condo is empty and getting ready to start a total renovation, which is going to cost half my income for the year. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sad. Mm -mm. No, I need your coat. Well, unfortunately it has a teensy bit of a hole in it. I think where, when I used to smoke, I dropped an ash on there, darn it. What is the name of the diet shot? Well, y'all are full of questions. Y'all should be subscribers that you take the diet. So I take, this is the diet shot I take. Wah, 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 go, be. Have a good time with your family. Oh, we're excited. Has little Thomas had his birthday and are you gonna give out <coughs> his first year goodie bag? So I said on a video that I, had goodie bags for my 16 year old's first birthday and I never, <laughs> I never gave them out, but we still have them. Yes, I'm gonna have to give those out. I don't know if he's having a party though yet. The advent calendar came from this family called the Sharp family, that Sharp family um, in Raleigh and they retired so they don't make them anymore. And my like secondary grandparents, Grand Paula Long, my friend Lisa Burley's mother, Gave it to Thomas and I as a wedding present. Have you gotten to speak to Kate? Yes, I texted with her this morning. Um, is your daughter going to go to boarding school when she goes to high school? I think so. Yes. Yes, I think she's excited to do that. You reheat your coffee as much as I do. I know, I always forget to take it out of the freaking microwave. 
your husband would snow blow a past. Love this time of year when kids come home from college. I tell you what, you have children, and you really think that it's going on and on and on for years. And then you turn around, and they're almost 17, 15, 13, and 9. And you're like, what happened? Like, I, I could write about that all day long, because in the fact that everyone experiences that, but it feels so raw to us. I mean, what a joint life experience that we all have together, you know? Does Amos dislike haircuts? Yes, but he has done way better lately. Our caretaker takes him, caregiver, because he does better with her. How do you brush it? Well, I'll tell you, you put a lot of conditioner in it when it's dry, you get in the shower, you get the wet brush out, you comb, 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 then you wash it, condition it, then you put in detangler spray. I mean, it's a real, it's a real commitment. My ear hurts. You see something on it? You know how to squamous or squamous or something on this one? Lopped off the top of my ear. I hope I don't have one on this one. 21, 23, 26, and 29. Yes, I mean, what happened? How did it happen? How does time go by that quick? How was your party? Did I have a party? I ain't had any party. How is Mary doing? Um, our caregiver is better. She's had the flu. Of course, we gave it to her. She's doing better. She's supposed to come babysit tonight. Can you share where Honor was trained? So Honor, our service dog, we got her from Paws for People. So they breed the dogs and train them in Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm from North Carolina, too. I'm too busy to follow anyone on Facebook. Well, I get that. Sue. My friend Mary Scott always says, you know, you're on Facebook, but you don't look at anybody else's stuff. And it's because I'm so on it so much for work. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is called work. I know. My husband will be like, I've worked so hard. I'm like, mm, I just sit in my pajamas and do videos. No, I'm kidding. I think what I do is important. I make people feel like they're not alone. There's camaraderie. Um, it's a safe place to vent and talk and share why you love Trump or you love Biden. I mean, I'm open, people. I am ready. And yeah, I charge $5 a month, but I mean, hell, that's like going to Chick-fil-A and getting a sandwich with no tea. I mean, it's not that bad. Y'all are wasting that stuff on, and if anybody out there says that they're not wasting $5 a month, then you, I'd like to have you on as a special guest of mine because you probably are like secretly Dave Ramsey. You talked about Christmas letters a few days ago. I send them, but they make up, but just make up crap. Everybody likes them because they're funny. Do you really? Okay, will you send me one, Kathy? I did a video and I was talking, was it on my subscriber page? I was talking about the fricking Christmas letters that you get in your card. So I send sort of a blase card. And every year I'm like, I'm not sending a card. And then I can't help it because I'm, I'm sick. I'm a, a sick, I'm a glutton for punishment. I, I want to send the card. And then this year, I like secretly want to, I want to write a letter. Turn up the heat, girl. Cheryl, I have no heat. No, I have no heat. Did you miss the helicopter ride for Amos for his birthday? Yes, you did. It did not happen because the weather was too windy. I'm joining you on the 26th. Yay! I hope to subscribe after Christmas. Well, I get that. I hope so. You're calm. Christmas letters, brag and gag. So here are the Christmas letters. <laughs> I wish I... Your coats are getting bigger. I wish, yes, Terry loves Dave Ramsey. I mean, Terry, you could be my financial guru on here because I'm not one. So I'll be working until I'm like 100. I'm going to subscribe one of these days. So here's the letter. Okay, I'm just going to give you all a little taste in case you missed it the other day. Hi, hi, it's Susan. 
Susan and Bill and Billy and Wacker and and our daughter um, Ella. <laughs> yeah, we're doing great. Great. Bill got a promotion. Wacker's going to Clemson. He's the quarterback. And Ella, oh, she's a flutist. Floytist. Mm -hmm. She's really amazing. I think she's going to go to Juilliard and just skip the next nine years of school. And Bill Jr., well, we're so proud of him. He just started a chapter of, of Let's Go Brandon in our hometown. It's really amazing. He's very involved in politics. And as for me, I retired from my job as health coach with Optavia. I'm still getting thin these days because I take Wagovi. And I'm, um, I'm a home organizer. I, I come in and I have my label maker and I have my, my plastic containers and I'm just gonna load up your house with those things. Now don't go anybody sending me any mean message that I'm making fun of whacker or home organizers. See, that's what happens. I say one thing like this and I'll get a hundred messages. Honest to goodness, I shared a reel of Amos going in the coffee shop and a man was holding the door for him as he went in and the man was coming out and this person was like, I thought it was good manners to let the people come out before they go in. I mean, who are you people? Do you like, are you in jail? Do you have access to Facebook in jail? I just don't get it. Bill Jr. is actually Harry Jr. Well, and then it's been a really hard year for us, though. It's super hard because, you know, the road washed out on the way to our beach house. It's super hard, so we couldn't go there for Thanksgiving this year. But we found this really amazing chef. His name's Emerald. He's coming to the house to cook our turkey. <laughs> and our parents are coming. Mm -hmm. They're coming. They'll be home from the nursing home for one day. And then they're going back. They really love it there. It's fun. They play cards. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I tickle myself. This is what happens when you haven't left the house for a week and I mean I've been in these pajamas for two days and honestly go out in public in pajamas and I don't even think about it anymore like now it's just become this natural thing I was at the coffee shop this morning at 8 20 I mean I was like are they giving away freaking free coffee I didn't even brush my teeth you forgot about the rescue dog oh yeah we rescued this dog it's a, it's a Labradoodle Golden Reaver. Uh-huh. It's very nice. It was bred by accident in Schenectady. So we went up there and picked it up. Mm -hmm. Because we're good people. We're earning our treasures in heaven. Thinking this is your real life. <laughs> I hope y'all are well. God sure has blessed us. I hope he's blessed you. <laughs> okay, I would just like to say, I'm a Christian. God loves me a lot. Don't you, God? Sometimes I wonder. But he does. When you tell someone how blessed you are, it basically makes them think that God hates them. <laughs> I mean, seriously. It does. Like when my brother died of cancer... I would read, I still would read, well, God healed my brother. Well, then, then you feel like God's like, eh, you, I'm going to smite you. Nope, nope, I'll take you. I mean, come on. 
pictures of their teenage daughter in a wrecked car holding a beer. <laughs> Sorry. I could, I could put, I could put the picture. I wish I could put a recording in my Christmas card of the call that I got from my 16 year old. Literally had been gone from the house with his siblings for mm, seven minutes and said, Mom, I wrecked the car. Wrecked the car. Rear-ended someone. That was the summer. But the best part about it is it wasn't our car. It was my dad's car. Don't ever borrow a car from your grandparents because you might end up having to pay out of pocket for a car that's very old because there's no insurance for it. There's insurance, but you know, if you wanna buy the exact same 2002 Lexus SUV that you had, it's a real commitment to finding it. Mm -hmm. One year a friend of mine got a card with a photo and it was um, on the back, it was like, fine. And it was like, look for the nursing bra, look for the, it was really funny. I love watching you. You remind me that when things happen in life to cause stress, you have to find good. <laughs> you need to come be a subscriber. I mean, for $5 a month, what else can you do for $5? I need to come up with some things. It cost $8 to ride the trolley in downtown Edenton. Yes, Elton John. So he wrote us a letter because we did so many good deeds at the children's burn unit. We took around cookies to all the patients there. I think I'm going to have to do the Southern Alter Ego of what they do for Christmas to help people. And these same people are writing their children's college applications. My children, they ain't class president. They don't have the best grades. They're not varsity athletes. My husband says my genetics have deleted the blood gene pool. They can't say anything. Now, all the other people have been like everything, you know, the floitist and the this and the that. And then we don't get into college. Well, basically, you're just accepting the other parents into college, not the children. Do you buy matching family pajamas? One year, I got my mom to buy some for us at Target, and no one wore them, so no. Anna, somebody, I'm sorry, Anna. Crazy stuff people said to you on this platform. No, my family might hurt me. You can't buy a magazine for $5. Thank you. I mean, how much is the Washington Post on Sundays? Like nine? I don't know. I'm going to hell. I would put that on a t-shirt, but no one would buy it. I mean, I cannot wait for my teenagers to get home. And I'm going to have on like shorts and a t-shirt and pretend I'm not cold and see if they say anything. Okay, I'm going to do that on the subscriber page. I'm going to write my letter and I'm going to publish it. And then we're going to all share. I'm going to have a Christmas letter contest on my blog. And whoever writes the best Christmas letter, they're going to get, what can they get? Hmm either a nativity set or maybe the zip. Do you remember years ago I used the zip? My skin looks so good. And then I forgot it to use it. Now I look old again. Can we pay for a year? You can't pay for a year ahead of time because Facebook hates me, but you can pay every month. Magazines are $12.99. Shut. Are you kidding? Are you watching that Christmas parade? You don't want to know what I spend at Starbucks every month. A baby? Oh, it's on the right. They just made it. Memories. It's on the right These people are making memories. Really? Do you think they would ever let me host the Raleigh Christmas Parade? I used to live in Raleigh. Yes, you can join on your iPad. But I get all $5 if you join from your computer. If not, I only get like $3.99. 
How many subscribers do you have? 127. So I, I'm going to ask you what's your favorite part of the Raleigh Christmas parade, but I think I might know. Yeah, the Helping Hand Mission. And it's so oh, now they're nice. Wiggins is the Grand Marshal this year. Yep, it is. Maybe I could be the Grand Marshal. My Southern Baptist just raised his husband, told me I was going to hell because I hadn't gone to church in months. <laughs> I'm Episcopalian. God understands. Where do you get your paintings framed? Well, I used to get my friend Lainey Layton to frame them, and then she returned. So now I go to Framers Alley in Elm City. Mm -hmm. Elm City, North Carolina. It's kind of between Wilson and Rocky Mount. I have to cancel my Sirius XM to subscribe. Come on. I have asked a couple times where I can subscribe, Berkeley. You said I could find it in the show notes, but I can't find the show notes. So I'll put it in the link when I'm done. You like the Christmas letter contest? But I seriously want people to send me their real Christmas letters so I can just... Ooh, ooh, I have a better idea. Instead of writing your own Christmas letter, you have to submit a letter that someone has sent to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's worth it. That's worth a $500 zip. And I got one in my bathroom. Returned. Well, that's not nice. <laughs> and I just repeated it. Yep, you send me, you send me the best Christmas letter you've gotten. I sure wish I had this one from these people in Rocky Mount. I'm not kidding you. It talked about how the children were, <laughs> I hope they're not watching. It talked about these children and how amazing they were and all these things they did. Well, things went things went bad not that I wallow in anyone's bad times but it did seem like poetic justice to talk about how you know always blah, 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 how amazing they are amazing 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 and then I would hear it from my dad about how amazing their children were and how they don't watch tv and they eat at the table with cloth napkins and they discuss things and then all hell when you say in the link, that means when you go back to watch this video, beside the title, I'll put it there. I could put it in the, I can't put it in the comments because, well, hold on. Let me try. Hang on. I'm going to go look. Don't go away. Okay. Now I'm going to try. I'm going to put it in the comments. So it's best if you join from your computer and I'm going to write subscribe here all I want for Christmas. And I want people to follow me. Oh, retired for retired. Oh, yeah. You subscribe through your iPhone. If you subscribe through your iPhone, Apple Pay, whoever owns Apple Pay is the richest person on the planet. They take 30%, right? Pin comment. Look at there. I mean, I'm like a genius. Ken writes a funny ditty. I mean, the word Diddy, like Mike should win you in a warrant, Kathy, for the back of our card every year. So Kathy is coming on my, when you're a subscriber, you get access to all sorts of fun things. There is a Tales of an Educated Debutante cruise in January. I'm going. And so are 80 of my followers just subscribed. Yes. 80 followers on a cruise to the Bahamas. I guess we will never see a Christmas letter that Johnny's back in prison. Pam is on crack again. Grandma's sipping the homemade stuff. Maybe we will. Full legal size. It would take you a couple days to get through it. Just lavish trips. Ain't nobody wants to hear about the trips you're going on as I tell you that I'm taking people on a cruise. <laughs> but they seriously don't. They don't want to hear you. That's at the end of the letter. Susan and Wackers and Bill and Billy's letter. And we went, um, this year we really decided we wanted to do something for climate change. So we went to Greenland. Mm -hmm. We toured it. We planted 498 
weeping willow trees. <laughs> you can still sign up for the cruise, I think. <laughs> and then after that, we went to we went to Paris. What? Put up the stockings? Today? Honey, it's not Thanksgiving. Honey, a Christmas tree is not stockings. I mean, why the devil are we going to put stockings up? Is your furnace fixed? No. Why do you think I have on this coat? It's freaking freezing in here. Why don't you have heat? Because I'm trying to get healthy and pretend I'm in Norway. No, because the, something broke. I don't know. I tell you what, though. I hope one of my children is a plumber slash heat and air person. And then I need somebody to be able to fix things. How much is the cruise? Um, I think it's like $500 a person if you have a roommate. And $950 for a balcony room if you don't, maybe. I can't remember. It's going to be good. It was offered to subscribers, and then I had a few spots left that I opened on the big page. We'll be in the poor house. Well, I get that. So I have this friend who wants something that her husband doesn't want her to have, and I told her, I was like, give it to him as a Christmas present. This, that's what I did with this painting right here. I gave this to Big Thomas as a Christmas present. He hates that painting, and I knew he would, but I liked it. Space heater's not an option. We don't have any, and it just seems like we can push through, you know? My bill was $1,500. She added in a lot of extra fees or hidden charges. You mean me, Jessica? Or the travel agent? Well, that's true. I did charge a $150 fee per person which you turn around and get back for some free stuff in your room. That's true. Because then you get like, I think I got everybody a $100 shipboard credit. I don't know. That just seemed more fun. And you know, when you go on those cruises, you got to like pay for stuff, including drinks. And if you want um, some kind of fancy something on the island, it's like $1,800. We're not going to have that. We're going to have towels for the beach. Space heaters are water filled? Really? Started eavesdropping. He wants to know what dessert you're having for Thanksgiving. Well, we're going out to eat. Um, one thing I like to have is sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie. Yesterday I met somebody and they are, um, they are. They make cheesecakes for Thanksgiving. I've never had cheesecake for Thanksgiving. I thought that was sort of exciting. Right? Cheesecake? We, um... <laughs> so that's it. Nothing. Today.com food news. Where are you cruising out of? Oh, gosh. Miami. Miami, we're going to have our pineapples ready. Do you know what pineapples mean? If you're on a cruise boat. Well, get your reservations done. Pineapples. People hang pineapples on their doors on a cruise. And then they wear them on their shirts. And it means you're a swinger. It's a true story. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to have more during pineapples. I'm going to put on my people's doors. I just can't imagine what would go into that decision to put that pineapple on your door on a cruise. I mean, to be a swinger, like, doesn't that just seem like it would really not be helpful for your marriage? Is it that fun? 
Like to me, fun is going to Home Goods or a Christmas show or I was texting with my cousin this morning about 2024 Thanksgiving. Like, I think that's fun. <laughs> Swinging just seems like a ton of effort. Did you get the earrings I sent you? You sent me earrings? Have you worn your pineapple earrings? No, I'm scared to wear those. I'll wear them on the cruise. I mean, I don't want somebody to come and get me in the night. <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's traumatic. <laughs> there is a darn boat out there, look. It's a bass boat. The bass boats are out. They're out this morning getting the bass. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got to go do a subscriber video. They're going to be mad. I've spent too much time with y'all. Don't send me any private messages. Don't tell me that your daughter is a professional flautist or that your son, Baxter, you know, is nice, even though he still lives at home and he's 48. And he doesn't have special needs. He's just lazy. Don't tell me that you went to Greenland and it was lovely and that your children really are amazing and have started, you know, chapters of the Red Cross in Uganda and that you had nothing to do with it. Don't tell me shit like that. I, I don't want to hear it. Tell me stuff like, I weigh 186 and I don't know how in the hell that happened. Or, I've got these kids and they're never going to be number one in their class. Or, my son has special needs and it's a real pain in my ass some days. Or, my parents drive me bananas. My in-laws, sometimes they come over and I hide upstairs from them, even though I love them. Mm -hmm. You can tell me stuff like that. Or, I used to be fat, but now I drink shakes. And I love to exercise and run. I could just run like a deer. No. I don't, it doesn't make me feel. Carry on, people.